This is a video about the Penguins of Madagascar for the Inatab. This game is uh, pretty good for kids. Now, I was trying to play it on the Inatab 1, and there are a lot of loading times. If you have an Inatab 3, and you put it on here, your loading times <laughs> will be a lot shorter. This one, the Inatab 1 does have a little bigger screen, so it's a little bit easier to, on the eyes to look at, but the, for the load times, oh gosh, you can't beat the Inatab 3. And anyway, I'll go ahead and boot this up and we'll take a look at it. The penguins of Madagascar. Welcome to the this game has the same kind of layout as the SpongeBob SquarePants. It has like the learning games up here, the, the three learning games, the ebook, and the uh, creativity stuff down at the bottom. The ebook on this is pretty good. It's about King Julian stealing one of their helmets makes them do magical stuff and move stuff with their brains but this is the kingly booty dance this one all he does is he dances around and milkshakes pop up on the screen you got to tap the milkshakes and he drinks them so he doesn't get thirsty and then fruits come on the screen you got to touch the fruits in order and it's it's okay now there may be a little math value because he's adding over here by ones or maybe it's just counting but i'm really not sure what the what the educational value of this is. This is the uh, puzzled penguins. This is where different puzzles come out and you have to rearrange them, kind of like an old slide puzzle. And um, it, it's <laughs> it's okay too. Is Kowalski here, and you hear his name a hundred times in this game. He, he gives you a picture, and you gotta you gotta straighten it out. So you gotta grab this and whoa, grab them and move them around. Come on, there. And then if you straighten them up, oh good, you got it one, good. She's still asleep. Then you got the goat fish, and this one is where the birds are flying across the top of the screen, and you try to shoot them down with a penguin, and the other ones try to catch the fish, uh, and they also have anchors and hammers you shoot down. So here they are flinging themselves, flinging one of them at the, uh, at the birds flying over, and this little guy back here tries to catch them. Now I'm not really sure exactly what this has to do with learning. <laughs> it's kind of entertaining for a few minutes, but as far as like the learning value of this, you grab the penguin, you pull him back, and you fling him. And then this little guy jumps over automatically and catches him. Okay. This one here, the slip sliding. This is where you build a track, and it kind of reminds me of, of the old Excite bike. You build a track, but then he just kind of goes on it by himself, and he tries to get combo moves and whatnot. So this is the one that looks like a side bike, and you can drag the pieces up and make your own track. It's really amazing. And if you get those little stars, it means you got a combo move. Ooh. So then we hit the check mark, and then one of the penguins that you pick will uh, go through. So we'll go ahead and we'll pick Kowalski. On my mark. Ready? Go. Then he just slides through the track and goes over the stuff that you told him to do. Combo move. Amazing. And then the cool creations, you, you build stuff and then they, they use it. And it gives you a little one-liner about each um, item you made. But the storybook, the ebook is good. On a 1 to 5 scale, I'd probably give this game a, probably a 3. It's a little better than the SpongeBob SquarePants because it's a little bit easier for the kids to learn. But... Um, or learn how to play. It doesn't have that much educational value in terms of like reading skills. It's mostly kind of math and hand-eye coordination stuff, I guess. Anyway, this one might be one worth getting if you could find it on sale. So anyway, I'm going to see if I can find more games and we'll, might try to do a few more game reviews. Anyway, thanks for watching. Comment. Let me know if you have any questions. I'll try to answer them. Thanks again for watching.